It says in Proverbs 31, verse 2, which, by the way, is, is coming from a woman. Just, just keep this in mind. Obviously, it's the word of God, but this is coming from a woman. Verse 2, what my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows. This is a mother teaching her child. Verse 3, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. This is a teaching that the children need to hear. She's teaching her son, don't give your strength unto women. Maintain your strength. Maintain your authority. Don't give up your authority to them at home and just let them just be in charge because that's not what God has them to do. That's your job. You can't give your job to someone else. Just like the wife can't give her job to you. And now you have to do all the stuff that your wife's supposed to be doing. Don't do that. God made it this way for a reason. The Bible says in Ephesians, turn if you would to Numbers chapter 30. I'm going to read Ephesians 5, very, very uh, common passage when it comes to husbands and wives. The Bible says in Ephesians 5, 25, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Verse 27 is what I want to focus on, though, because the, the commandment for the husbands is to love your wife. And absolutely, love your wife. You're in charge, you're ruling the house, but you're ruling it with love because you love your children, you love your wife. But one of the ways that you are going to rule in the lead, just as Jesus Christ, it says in verse 27, that he might present it to himself a glorious church because it's equating Jesus and the church with a husband and his wife. Jesus Christ wants to present the church a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. So Jesus wants to get, you know, shape the church upright and, and get the spot. What would be a spot or a wrinkle? Well, areas where you're doing things wrong, areas where you're sinning, areas where you need to fix this. Jesus is going to have that type of relationship trying to fix the church, saying, you know what? Yeah, you know, I love my church, but I, the church can be better. So I want to make sure there's no spots, no wrinkles, and that, and that the church looks great, that it's glorious. Well, the husband has the role with his wife. You love your wife, but you need to help your wife to be a glorious wife, not having the spot or wrinkle and be able to identify areas and obviously do so tactfully in a loving way, but still be able to to, to lead and say, this is what we need to do. And sometimes, men, in your house, you need to say, this is going to go. And especially if it's something that's just flat out against the word of God in your house, if your wife likes idolatry and she decides she's going to put up some idols in your house. Well, guess what, Dad? If you don't want to be like Eli, where God's going to say, hey, you honor your wife more than you honor me, you know what you need to do is saying, no, this isn't going to be in our household. Unacceptable. It's going in the trash right now. We're going to stamp it in the Brook Kydron, and I'm going to make you eat it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just throw it away, all right? You can at least just throw it away. We're not by the Brook Kydron. But... You know what I'm saying, okay? When there's areas like that, when there's something just like, this is, this is just completely against God's word, this, we're not going to stand for this at all. And look, I, I've been there. I've done that in our household. Things that needed to be done. And you know what? Sometimes as dad, you need to, to go through again and again and just make sure the stuff isn't creeping in. Regardless of who brings it in, keep an eye on the household. Keep an eye that everything is, that, that your, your household can be glorious. But what I really want to stress, and I want men not to forget this, the authority that you have in your home. I had you turn to Numbers chapter 30. Because God has given you a lot of responsibility. You are responsible. 